really terrible at explaining the colors, by the way. It's like that pink. <laughs> It's a pink. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jamie Bean. Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to be reviewing and swatching the KKW Beauty Best of sets. I got the pink, the nudes, and the reds, and I'm super excited to swatch them and share my thoughts about them with you guys. So before we get into the video, guys, as always, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it at the bottom of this video. I do upload three days a week at 5 p.m. Eastern time right here at the bottom. And you want to hit that bell because you want to be instantly notified when I upload all my awesome videos and become part of the hive. We have a lot of fun. I do a lot of awesome videos, makeup tutorials, product reviews, hauls, fun challenges, all of the good stuff, guys, you don't want to miss out on. And as always, if you are already subscribed, thank you. I love you. Welcome back. And let's get into this video. All right, guys. So I'm really super excited to be swatching these lipsticks for you however I'm not going to be doing lip swatches I will be doing hand swatches I just don't think that lip swatches give you guys I think it's the same as hand swatches because we're all different color we all have different color lips different color skin tones undertones and all of that so they're going to look different on everybody that's why I just do my hands but if you really really love the lip swatches where I put them on my lips and show you each one then leave a comment below and that is what I will do from now on so each set is $65 $65. You get four lipsticks in each set. So you have the best of pinks and then you have the best of reds and then you have the best of nudes. Now she has come out with um, really big ones that I think have like eight maybe lipsticks in it total. So for these collections she just picked her four favorite or I guess the best that sold. I'm not really sure how she decided. If you know, leave me a comment below. And then I also got a free lip liner for spending a certain amount of money. I mean, how gracious of them. So I am going to save the red ones for last because obviously they will probably stain and I do not want that to happen. So we're going to go in with the nudes first. Again, these are $65. I think that the packaging is freaking phenomenal and I'll go ahead and hold it up a little bit closer for you. She is stunning. Like, Kim is absolutely freaking stunning. And obviously, for anyone who doesn't know, KKW Beauty is owned by Kim Kardashian West. But most of us do know that. So in this one, you get nude one, two, three, and five. And these are regular, like, classic lipsticks in a tube. They're not liquid lipsticks. So I am going to be keeping this package because I think it's really stunning. And maybe I'll make, like, a shadow box or something. So in the box, you get this plastic acrylic case which I think is really nice for your lipsticks. I mean, I'm really glad that they kind of did more than just the lipsticks in the box because for $65, I mean, <laughs> why not? So it says KKW Beauty behind it and it opens like this. The acrylic lid comes off and then you have the four lipsticks in here, which are also in these acrylic cases. Now, a lot of people complain because they say it's kind of cheap or whatever. I do have... Um, her first original ever lipstick with uh, the Mario collection, which is more of a frosted color. But a lot of people said that that's super cheap because it's plastic. I think it's very like just classic and sleek and just so minimal that it's amazing, if that makes any sense. So this is shade Nude 1. And it does have the color right here. So it's clear, but it has the color of the lipstick in the tube. And then this one is going to be more of like a peachy undertone nude. This is really light. Oh, it does have like a peachy pink undertone to it. I really like that. So here you have Nude 1, which again just has that peach undertone. It's super pretty. I can't wait to wear it. I would definitely put probably a lot of glosses over this one because it's so nude. So, and then all the way up, that's what you have. Just your classic lipstick. All right, and these are definitely creamy. I have one on today from the Best of Pinks to go with my eye look. I think they're creamy. They don't come patchy. Um, I would definitely say I had to do two layers on each lip to really fully cover it, but I do have a larger lip span, so if you have smaller lips, you may only have to do one. But as for, like, formula-wise, I think they're really nice. So this is Nude 2. And it just seems like it's a bit darker. This one still has that, this one still has that peachy undertone. And the only thing is when the machine placed this one in the tube, I think it did it crooked so the side gets all dinged up. So this one is definitely more of a pink 
undertone, this is definitely more peachy. This one is super pretty. And they're both, like I said, they're both very creamy. And I love the colors. If you're a nude person, like this is definitely gonna be for you. Again, they're they're pretty pricey, but it's KKW Beauty, you know, what are you gonna do? So this is nude three. And then you have that, which is very close in color to nude two, I think. But it's gonna swatch obviously different. No, so nude three is definitely a shade or two darker, which is probably gonna be right around my nude color. So let me go ahead and swatch this. Yeah, they seem very similar, but this one has a little bit more of a brown undertone. Less peachy, more brown, but still a hint of warm. So here's this one. That is really pretty. I love these so much. I love lipstick. Like, lipstick is literally my number one favorite makeup item. And then you have blush, obviously. But lipstick, I just have so many of them because I love them. This formula, too, is so creamy. And look at the, like, the shininess of it. It's just so pretty. All right, so let's go into the last nude, which is nude 5. So she skipped nude 4 and went to nude 5. And that's because I'm assuming that nude 4 is probably pretty similar to these two. And she wanted to put a darker one in there. This one I feel like has definitely like a pink, maybe red undertone to it. So it doesn't, yeah, it definitely has like more of a deeper pink, pinkish, reddish undertone. Like that's not going to look nude on me, but it might look nude on our darker, deeper skin tone. So these are the nudes. So you have one, two three and five. I think they're very nice. I'm not sure if you can get them on their own on the website, but you can always check it out at kkwbeauty.com. I do plan on going back and getting the ones that I did not get because I wanted to try them out first because like I said, I only have the one from her and I, I liked it a lot, but it was just a tad too light for my skin tone. So I was like, well, I don't want to buy three sets of eight because then I'm stuck with lipsticks that are the formula is crap, but I really, really like these. So I will definitely be going back to get the other ones that are missing from each collection. And before we actually do that, I do want to show you, um, I know some people like to display their makeup, etc. So this little acrylic thing actually can hold them up where they're at a slant. So you can display them or even better like this, or you can push them to the back and it'd be more like that. Like, I just think that this is so cute what this came with. No, we can't do that. I'm being too extra. But I just think that it's super cute. It's a good way to hold your lipsticks. And if you don't, you know, if you want to put them in a drawer, but you have a lot of lipsticks, I think it kind of gives you that option to keep them organized and together without having to get another lip holder. So I think this is very cute. And I love that she did this. This is literally one of my favorite parts. And I can stack them if I want to. So the next one is the best of pinks which i'm super excited about one again she looks flawless but i just love the matte packaging i love how minimal like her design is it, again like i said it's so minimal that it's it's stunning like it's so sleek and beautiful so i am keeping these packages so again this one was 65 dollars, and this comes with pink one two five and six I'm not sure why I did this for six, but it is what it is. All right, so again, it comes in the acrylic holder. And then, oh, you know what? I'm lying. I thought that these were the colors. The, like, inside of the tube was the color of the lipstick. It's not, because these are also nude plastic on the inside. Okay, like, if you look, see, it's still pink like the other one. I mean, it's still nude this plastic right here. So I think that's just the her color across. So this is pink number one. And it is just that light, basic, beautiful pink. Oh, it's just like that soft, ever so soft, like pink. So it's going to look really pretty on fair skin tones. So there it is, pink number one. All right, so this is the one that I have on today, and this is pink number two. It is just like that deeper hot pink. Um, I really, really love it. Like it doesn't look as hot pink on the tube, but when you swatch it, it's like, let's not say hot pink, it's 
more it's like a hot pink but like a deeper like dusty hot pink it's just beautiful like I absolutely love these pinks that she chose okay so that's pink number two let's go into pink number five so pink number five is almost like a dusty mauve rose color it is really pretty it definitely has some undertones of purple just slightly purple which I really like. They're so creamy. Like the formula is so buttery and creamy. Ugh. So I really wouldn't, yes, it has pink undertones, but I don't know if I would classify this as pink. I think like if I was organizing my lipstick by colors, this would have definitely gone into the purple, um, yeah, definitely purple section. So let's get into number six, which is oh, like a deeper pink. But again, it has that purple. Like, if you look, like, it's just so creamy. I don't know if you can see that. But it is so creamy. I love it. So this definitely is more pink than the other one. Um, number five. But it is, it's definitely a deeper berry pink. So again, this, these two would probably go in my purple drawer, not my pink. So that's a little, eh, but I get where she's coming from. They do have pink undertones, and this could be a pink on deeper skin tones, so I like it all the same. They're very creamy, they're very pigmented, they're very bright, and um, I think they wear very well. They do transfer, obviously, because they're not matte, and they come off as you're eating or drinking throughout the day because, again, they are not matte. But I think that they are really comfortable to wear. So if you're looking for something super comfortable to wear, then these are going to be the lipsticks for you. Because not everybody likes matte lipsticks. Again, I really only like them for when I'm doing like videos and stuff. Because I know that they won't move and get all over my teeth, etc. And I don't have to be like, anything on my teeth? <laughs> you know what I mean? But other than that, mattes aren't really that comfortable to be honest so like i said i could literally stack these up almost like they look like acrylic drawers like it's really really cute if i could just do it the right way though that'd be great so if you look here it almost looks like they're acrylic drawers because of the way that they're stacked so i think that's super cute you could probably stack them like this too if you wanted to be real fancy but be careful because they drop they're probably break. all right and we're gonna go into the last but certainly not least the best of red red is my favorite color lipstick I absolutely think it's stunning. You can have a light red, a deep red, a blue red, a pink red, brick red. There's so many red options and they're all so beautiful. Um, I, I like nudes, but honestly, I don't go for them because finding a nude, a perfect nude in my color has been pretty, pretty difficult. It has proven to be almost impossible, but I will keep looking. It is out there. And then pinks, I think that pinks are beautiful as always, but they're just not red. Like, just look at the color red. It stands out. It's so stunning. I don't have a favorite color. I will tell you that, like that's something about me. Um, I don't have a specific favorite color when it comes to like in general, but when it comes to lipsticks, it's definitely red. And if I had to like gun to my head, pick your favorite color, red. It used to be orange actually but red it's just look look how stunning she is and the red just draws your eyes right to her lips it's so beautiful so you have in here which I thought was kind of weird because these are not numbered um like those are numbered nude one nude pink one this is classic red hot sauce candy apple red and cherry pop so again comes in that plastic acrylic packaging you get four of them so the first one is classic red it is that very bright, vibrant, warm tone red, and I think it is so pretty. It definitely, to me, it could be crazy, has a bit of orange. I'll show you guys. And then comment below and let me know if it, has a, if it looks like it has just a tint of orange. It definitely, I feel like it definitely has some orange in it. So just let me know what you think. And we're going to go in with hot sauce which is definitely orange <laughs> i'm not crazy with this one i don't know my hot sauce doesn't look like this so i probably would have named it something else yeah this is orange with like red undertones i'll show you guys obviously i'll show you i'm showing you swatches 
So here's hot sauce. Um, I think that this is actually going to be very stunning on tan to medium or dark skin tone. But this is definitely, in my opinion, not red. This one has red with orange undertones, but this is definitely 100% a orange lipstick. So I would definitely have gathered this into my orange drawer and not red. So keep that in mind when buying these. So the next one is candy apple red which is exactly what I would classify as a classic red. It is just that deep red of basically an apple. <laughs> and it, it has more of a pink undertone than the orange like the other one. So it gives off, I'm making a mess. It gives off more of a classic red vibe than the one with a little bit of orange. So here is that one. These two are very similar in color though, I will tell you that. This has a pink undertone and this has more of an orange undertone. They're still pretty, but this is definitely orange. Okay, and then the next one is Cherry Pop, which is ooh, a very beautiful dark color. It's very dark red like that. I jumped from like 0 to 60. So this is more of like a brick red to me. So here is that darker color. So you have these three which kind of range in the same like bright orangish pinkish area and then you have this really dark one. So I, I wish that when she did the darker ones for all of them she didn't just jump to like the darkest. She kind of did like too dark, too light. So it could be like for two light tones, two dark tones, etc. But you're really getting a mix because when you do the best of whatever, it's gonna give you a mix. So that one I'm not too worried about. But this one, um, I feel like she could have replaced it with more of a red color, less of an orange. And this one is so pretty because it is just a deep, I wouldn't say berry, it's definitely like a brick because all of these have like orange pink undertones and I am digging them a lot. But this one is like super different than the rest of these, so I thought that was strange. But I really like the formula of them. And again, this is orange. I think this is going to look really pretty, but it's just, it's not red. Ugh, it just irritates me because it's like you have red and then orange. All right, guys, so that is it for my KKW Beauty Best of Set swatches. Let me know what you think below. Are you going to get them? Are you going to just go get like a single color? Do you prefer that I do lip swatches or hand swatches? Why? Why not? etc etc and as always guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one bye